Okay, last one on cars. Physical buttons outperform touchscreens. New test finds. Um, seems obvious, right? But then why is everything a touchscreen, Will? Yeah. I mean, with the car, I, I think it's uh, it's nice to have buttons. I know, but, buttons. but buttons are disappearing. Uh, not, not the whole thing. Maybe you have, like, a combination. Yeah, well... It's, uh, I have some cars with buttons, some cars that don't have buttons, and obviously I completely agree with you. In this test, what they did is they gave these uh, individual drivers a set of tasks, and they mm -hmm. timed them how long it takes and how much focus you have to take off the road to do the task. And they included with a bunch of modern cars a 17-year-old Volvo V70 to see if we've become any more efficient at interacting with our cars over the last uh, 17 years. They, uh, they got modern cars, 11 modern cars from different manufacturers out in an airfield, measured the time needed for a driver to perform different simple tasks, such as changing the radio station or adjusting the climate control, uh, while the car was driving at 110 kilometers an hour or 68 miles, miles an hour. You got it? Mm-hmm. And then they also... they. They did a couple of things. They measured how long it took, but they also looked at where your gaze had to go, how mm. much time your eyes had to spend off the road in order to do the task, mm. which is kind of key because what happens with muscle memory with buttons, you just know where they are. You don't even look. And you can also feel it. That's what I mean. Right? So if you reach for like a knob or something, you don't even really look at it. You don't notice, mm -hmm. but you don't really have to even look at it. Whereas a touch screen, you almost always have to look yes. at it, which means you're not looking at the road. Um, so anyway, here are the results, the time to perform the tasks, and then the overall score, which has to do with uh, attention and so forth. And you can see the quickest is a 2005 Volvo V70. It took 10 seconds to perform a task that in other cars could take up to 40, including in like a BMW iX, you can see it took 30 seconds. I don't think, the, oh, Tesla Model 3, 23 and a half seconds. Like more than double to mm. do the same thing. And the amount of distance traveled in that amount of time to do the task is substantial when you're traveling at 110 kilometers an hour. Here were the things that they had to do. Activate the heated seat, increase the temperature in the cabin by two degrees and start the defroster, power on the radio and adjust the station to a specific channel, mm. reset the trip computer and lower the instrument lighting to the lowest level then turn off the center display. Those were the tasks. Mm. On the Volvo V70 from 2005, that took 10 seconds. On a Tesla Model 3, 23 and a half. On a Volkswagen ID3, 25.7. Uh, Subaru Outback's pretty good, 19. Anyway, there's a whole list here. Hyundai Ioniq 5, 26. It just looks like things basically are twice as hard to do now, if not three times. Uh-huh. Yet. We still have a lot of screens and getting more of them in cars. Well, because I think w what it is, is there's a feeling of like, that's the modern thing, right? Yeah. There's a feeling of flexibility with screens that buttons are yeah. concrete. They're just stuck there. They uh -huh. can't morph into something else. No. Another good example of this is when you have the screen to control the direction of the air vents as opposed to just reaching up and angling it at yourself. Mm. I don't know if you've ever, this can be the most frustrating thing, dude. Yeah, yeah. You got to launch into the interface, click three buttons, and you're driving, and then point the thing uh -huh. via joystick. It's cool. There's novelty to it. But in a car while driving, the buttons are, it's not as much like a smartphone mm. where you're staring at it when you're using it. The car, it's, it's your activities interacting with it are peripheral. You're yeah. still driving the car. Once cars drive themselves, which is obviously a thing that's been talked about, then everything changes, but they're still not driving themselves, and we're still constantly manipulating things like climate and the media that we're enjoying in the vehicle and so on, and it's just kind of, mm. it's a cool test because I have these feelings all the time. Yeah. Whenever I hop into a vehicle that where all the buttons are gone, I can be like pretty quick at certain things, and you definitely condition yourself, because that's another thing in this, in this test, right? Like, m almost everybody is familiar with buttons that they would have put in this study, but others may have had to learn the interfaces mm. every time you're met with a whole new software interface when you get into a different car. 
and also updates as well. They all have their own way of doing it. Mm -hmm. So anyway, but I think some people intuitively assume that this would be the case, but here you have a study showcasing how, how big that gap actually is. Mm. 